see it right there. Well, Thatch, he's finally set inside of one. Yep. Born rain, wind blowing, freezing cold. I think we are on a deadliest catch, boys. Out here on uh, Lake of the Ozarks, Jason Martin. We are hooked up to the paddlefish, we hope. It's nasty out. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one, man. Woo! Oh, yeah. They're strong. Especially when you got him hooked in a tail. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Boys! That's a good one, though, ain't it, Jay? How much do you think you weigh? Oh, I don't know, 45, 50, I think. There ain't everybody has an expert paddlefish boat driver for them. Well, we're not getting getting skunked today. We've got one in the boat. We've been at it a little while, though. Oh, I, oh, I got one. Better. Oh, Jay's hooked up. Jay's got one. I just did get done. We hit one right here in about the same spot. We just turned around, got our stuff out, came back through that hole. Jay's hooked up, hit one. Then one was rolling right here. Now here we are. Little one. Little guy, but. They gotta be 34 inches for a legal bill from the, the eye to the V of the tail. Oh, he'll measure. So, uh... Oh, God. If you're going to gaff one that you ain't for sure that will keep, you don't want to gaff him in the side. Otherwise, otherwise you'll kill the fish. So we got to make sure he's a legal fish before Go ahead and keep it. Start with the weight. These fish are in about 30 foot of water, swimming upstream to spawn. And you watch your graph a lot whenever you're snagging. Boy, there's a bunch of good ones on it right now. And you'll graph those fish in a deep hole. And you just keep going back through there. We're using the. Uh... Chad didn't bring the minnows for bait this morning, so. We got bare hooks. But these paddlefish, they're actually pretty cool fish. They don't eat, they eat microorganisms. They use this long bill to stir up the mud. But, uh, they're pretty cool. They're kind of like an old dinosaur, I guess, but. Uh, we're out here. Hope you got around his eye. You gotta go from the, the eyeball to the V of the tail. Right at 38. These boys ain't throwing it in yet, but it ain't the most pleasant day to be out here snagging. 32 degrees. It ain't snowing yet. It is raining. It's a cold booger. We're still having fun. Put that in there like that. Most people will cut a notch in their deal. You don't have to do that. That's the time you can be snagged. You just want to put it through there like that. Beautiful day out here. <laughs> we got a men running around through here, getting a spoon bill. Uh, the trick of this is just to find the bottom and 
just tap that sinker right on the bottom and keep and going until you're lucky enough to get one. It is all luck. It's it's but but you do have to have enough line out. We're using 20 ounce sinkers. We have three treble hooks. And uh, you want to be idling. Idling idle speed. Just where whenever you pull hard halfway through, it thumps the bottom and then then go ahead and jerk again. But uh, these these spoonbill or paddle fish are swimming upstream spawn. But hopefully we hit one pretty soon. A lot of people call it work, but eh, it's way better than a day at work or in the office, huh, bud? Yeah. I'd rather be out here. It's probably about the same temperature as it is at my work. Yeah, mine too. I would be working in the rain too, so I ain't, I, I ain't above it. Stay tuned, we'll get on another one. Troll. Thatcher, he's he's set up on one, finally. I think. Been seven times he's hung. He said he's gonna tell me this one's a fish. Cold, but you can't catch him at the house. You can't. We've been turkey hunting all week, hard. Had a few birds, but it was time to go get on the water. No fences, either, boys. <laughs> and I got one in the side. Using black and chartreuse as bait. Can you still see it? Yeah. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! What do you think, Jay? Good. Yeah, buddy. Good job, Bubba. Good job. You got a hook. That's good, bud. That's that's fun, especially that sudden hit. You got a hook. When you uh, when you get whenever you hit them, it's you got a small Volkswagen bus down. That's what my uncle says. Old Jason, he's he's having fun. It's raining. It's cold. We're all in our rain suits. He uh, he hit this one and uh, hit it at the end of his stroke, and we had to keep going for a second to let him get get tight to where he could really get him hooked good and wrapped up good. And, you know, this is what it's all about. They aren't the biggest right now, but, you know, usually a guy can catch 60, 70, 80 pounders out yeah. here. And these are a lot of fun to catch, though, and, you know, it's, it's just a couple hours of work. That is. It's fun, though. It's way better than work, that's for sure. Well, we're here on the Lake the Ozarks. It's cold, rain, and windy, but it don't matter. There ain't a boat out here. Usually there's 40 or 50 boats. They just ain't as tough oh, as we are. One. Got him? Yep. Jason got one. Jason got a good one. Whoo! Hooked up. I seen him on the graph. I seen him on the graph back there. It was a good one. I said, all right, Jay, it's your, your fish is up. And, uh, you can't beat this, though. Can't. It's better than any day at work. What do you think, Jay? Good and Jay? There is absolutely nobody on the lake. I wouldn't be neither if it wasn't for you two dummies. It is cold. It's raining. Wind's blowing. And we're hooked up 
about the big paddlefish, boys. It's April 23rd. It's cold. There he is. Oh, look at that. One. That's Woo! a good one. That's 70 pounder, boys. That's 70. That's a big one. Woohoo! Fish on! That's it. That's it right there. That is a big paddlefish. That's probably a 70 pounder. There is nothing like it, bud. This is the first, the first sudden hit when you hit it. And you have fish on. It's awesome. Had a good day. We limped it out today on Lake of the Ozarks with uh, Spoonbill. Cameraman, he didn't want to fish, he didn't catch anything. It's a pretty good day. Well, folks, we're uh, just pulled out of the water at the Lake of the Ozarks, and uh, we limited out today on Spoonbill. I'm here with my uncle Jason Martin from Tipton, Missouri, and uh, he caught a big male. I'm guessing about about 70 pounds. Got a nice female there, probably. Five or sixty, and then I got kind of short change, but that don't matter really. Uh, they're both good fish. It was cold today, rained all day, and uh, but I can't. It ain't. It's better than work. We well, had a had a lot of fun and uh, hit all these in about one spot, one little hole. Caught them all in probably two hours, two and a half, three hours. I don't know. It's all in the speed, you know. It, you don't just let your line out and set set the depth. You have to you have to make sure you're always on the bottom. And and if you're on the bottom, bump and bottom, let it bump bottom, and just just pull away. A lot of people call it work, but but uh, once you hit that fish, though, there's nothing like it. But uh, stay tuned. We got more coming at you. We do have a lot of work. We got to get it. Get on clean and, you know it's just like hunting or anything else the so work begins after you get them yep they'll be good eating you gotta get the red meat out of them but stay tuned